The Zeta Reticuli star system has long been a topic of interest for science fiction enthusiasts, conspiracy theorists and alien hunters alike. 39 light years from Earth, this binary star system contains two main stars, Zeta Reticuli 1 and Zeta Reticuli 2. Both orbit each other at a distance of about 370 astronomical units. Fascinatingly, they are both almost identical stars to our Sun, a double Sun system if you will. Hi everyone, Vega here, and in today's video we're going to revisit Zeta Reticuli and consider whether its relative fame is deserved. So let's get to it. First discovered in the 1800s, the Zeta Reticuli system has captured the imagination of many due to its potential to harbour life. In the 60s and 70s, a number of supposed alien abduction cases emerged, with many individuals claiming to have been taken aboard extraterrestrial spacecraft by beings from Zeta Reticuli. While the veracity of these claims is still widely debated, they help to popularise the notion that Zeta Reticuli is a hotspot for extraterrestrial activity. Probably the most famous depiction of all of the Zeta Reticuli star system in popular culture is in the Alien franchise. The first film, Alien, starring Sigourney Weaver as Ellen Ripley, a warrant officer, involves the ship's crew receiving what they think is a distress beacon on a planetoid in the Zeta Reticuli system known as LV-426. In the film we see a glimpse that the object is actually in orbit around a gas giant in the system. In the film, Ripley and her team encounter a vicious extraterrestrial creature known as a Xenomorph, which infests the mothership and kills all of its crew. In a sequel covered, don't forget to check out our video on the exomoons if you have a chance, and I'll link it in the card above. Of course, the most fantastical element of aliens is the existence of the xenomorphs themselves. The creatures are depicted as having an incredibly resilient and adaptive way of life with a unique life cycle that involves parasiting and ultimately killing other organisms. While there is no scientific evidence to suggest that life forms like the xenomorphs exist, they serve as a potent reminder of the vast diversity of life that may well exist beyond our own planet. One interesting aspect of the Zeta Reticuli star system that has definitely fueled speculation about extraterrestrial life is the distance between the two main stars. Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2 are separated by a distance of about 370 astronomical units, or some 5.5 trillion kilometres. This is relatively close for a binary star system, yet remains distant enough to mean that neither star is a direct threat to the stability of either star's potential planetary systems, and it's led to some to speculate that any planets in the system may because of this be even more likely to harbour life. Gravitational forces exerted by the two stars on any planets in the system would be stable, which could provide a more conductive environment for the evolution of complex life forms. In pure statistics though, it is actually Zeta 2 surprisingly that is the larger of the two stars, coming in at an almost identical Sun analogue, with 98.5% of the Sun's mass and 99% its radius. Zeta 1 is slightly smaller at 95.8% of the Sun's mass and 92% its radius, meaning that its luminosity is quite a lot smaller than the Sun at 76%, whereas again, its larger partner Zeta 2 is almost the same luminosity as our star at 97%. Both stars are G-dwarfs, and Zeta-2 has the same designation as our Sun at G-25, whereas Zeta-1 slightly less so at G-35. Isn't that fascinating? We've talked many times on this channel about the Alpha Centauri system, which of course again isn't too different to this system, but the relative closeness of the two major stars of Rigel Contorus and Tolyman in this system makes the likelihood of stable planets less likely. Zeta, of course, does not suffer from this problem and the safe zone, where planets could form without being disturbed by the other star, is much, much larger. The constellation in which the stars can be found, Reticulum, is a small and faint constellation in the southern skies. Its name is Latin for small net or reticle, a net of crosshairs in the focus of a telescope eyepiece that's used to measure star positions. As I say, a southern hemisphere constellation, even its brightest star of Alpha Reticuli only shines at plus 3.3 magnitudes, so it's pretty dim across the board. Zeta for its part barely even reaches naked eye visibility at an apparent magnitude of plus 5.52. Another intriguing feature of the system is the presence of a debris disk around Zeta Reticuli too. The disk is composed of dust and other debris that is thought to have formed from collisions between asteroids and other small bodies in the system. The presence of a debris disk like this can indicate that there may be other smaller objects in the system that could potentially be the building blocks of planets. In the film Aliens, the planet LV-426 is depicted as having been terraformed with a breathable atmosphere. 
Evidence of volcanic activity, both in lava flows and the volcanic rocks themselves, do tend to suggest that the moon may be experiencing some degree of tidal heating, as the moon is stretched by the larger gravity of the gas giant that it orbits. For those who know the Aliens film Inside Out, which of course I include myself, you may remember talk of a rescue taking 17 days. How long after we're declared overdue can we expect a rescue? 17 days. 17 days? Hey man, I don't want to rain on your parade, we're not going to last 17 hours. Given that Zeta lies some 39 light years from Earth, or 371 trillion kilometers, if the rescue is coming from Earth, it means any spaceship would have to be traveling at 21.86 trillion kilometers a day. This is some 911 billion kilometers an hour, or 844 times the speed of light. What I think this means is that we can safely say for now that aliens and those scary xenomorphs lay well within the reins of science fiction rather than fact. In today's graphic we imagine what the colonial marines might have seen on the LV-426 moon if they'd looked towards the host star. We assume here that the main star is the larger Zeta-2 star, although there is no reference to this in the saga. Very much like our sun, assuming a distance of one astronomical unit, it would shine unsurprisingly almost exactly like our sun, if a tiny tiny bit dimmer. We see in the distance the gas giant that LV-426 orbits, as well as the theorised debris disk. We see Zeta-1 shining in broad daylight, some 310 astronomical units away, around 10 times further than the planet Neptune would be, and shining at a modest minus 14 apparent magnitudes. This of course is still far brighter than anything we have in Earth skies, but clearly dimmer and faded. Zeta Reticuli is a binary system some 39 light years from Earth that contains two almost replica sun stars in a distant, yet related orbit with each other. Science fiction has wondered about the two stars for many years, and recent discoveries have revealed a protoplanetary or debris disk around the larger star of Zeta 2. Part of the very faint and unremarkable constellation of Reticulum, the Net, these two stars have punched above their weight in astronomical folklore for some time now. We wonder if one day in the far future, human visitors may turn those stories and tales into reality. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you'd like to support the channel further, you could consider buying me a coffee and I'll link this in the description. Thanks to those of you who have already done so. And if you have any videos or subjects you'd like to see brought to life, don't forget to let me know in the comments below, and perhaps your idea next week could show up. Take good care of yourselves and look after your friends and family well, and I'll see you on the next one.